message is, you don't have to yield as long as you got your shield. <laughs> and we all know what yielding is, meaning pulling back up, slow down. No, you can continue to go forward with your shield. You don't have to make a stop. You don't have to yield to the right of way. There is no right of way. You have the right of way. The person or the reason why this piece of ornament is, is so crucial is because it covers all of you. And if you're behind it covers all of you if you're behind it properly. And you have to be covered with the shield properly. There's a way to be behind it properly. You can't just be holding your shield out here. <laughs> you know, you're you're exposed. In addition to take up the shield of faith. So when you do need need it, you take it up. Yeah. He has told us earlier to take it up on the evil day. Now when we know what the evil day is, the evil day is when all hell breaks loose in your life. When you're under attack, that's the evil day, is when you're under attack. When everything's coming at you, he said, take it up. Because we're already now trying to pick up faith because see, you're going to need faith when you get under attack. It's when the finances are so low and you don't know how you're going to make it. That's the evil day. When you're wondering how I'm going to pay these bills. When I lost my job. When my wife got hurt in an accident and we don't, we got to get past that and still pay the bills and have somewhere to live. That's the evil day. When the driver didn't have no insurance. That's an evil day. It's when everything is breaking down emotionally. That's an evil day. When you can't handle your emotions, when everything around you is going chaotic. An evil day is when all hell breaks loose in your life. Mm. On that day, you need to be covered. That's right. And you need to be covered by a shield, which is called faith. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Now, when spaceships spaceships they launch when they launch spaceships into the air they they go up but on upon their return to orbit they're changing atmospheric orbit and so when they change atmosphere if they they put a shield on that on those spaceships because if they change atmosphere going from this that, that atmosphere to to the to the earthly atmosphere they catch on fire I don't know if anyone knew that. So they have a shield on them, around them, so they don't catch on fire. They, they're shielded, so now the spaceship, when they change orbit, they don't catch on fire when they come into the Earth's orbit. Now on the evil day, you can feel like you're all burnt up. Like you done caught on fire. But if you have a shield, you'll make it in an atmosphere of chaos. No matter what the atmosphere, well, when your atmosphere changes, if you have your shield, when you get into that next atmosphere, you won't get burnt up. Now the question is, what is faith? Faith is simply put. Faith is simply acting on truth. Now wasn't that long old drawn out um, Hebrew Aramaic Aramaic <laughs> We don't have difficult things. Faith is simply acting on truth. Yes, yes, yes. If God said it, whether I believe it, we know it's done, so we act on what he said. Yes, yes, yes. Not on what we feel. Yes, yes. Now if you don't know the truth. Or 
if you don't act upon the truth, then the word faith is meaningless to you. See, if you don't have on your belt, it, it, you don't need to have a shield. Because you don't even have truth. <laughs> you don't have truth. So without your belt, faith is meaningless. You want to let people shoot that word off all over the place. Faith, I got faith, I got faith. Faith, 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 faith. Hey, got faith. Give me some faith. People are out looking for faith. Yes, yes, yes. He said, take up faith. Yes, yes, yes. You don't go out looking for faith. Yes. It's already there. Uh -huh. God is already God has done everything he's going to do. Yes, yes. We have to act upon it and live upon what he's already done. Yes, yes, yes. So in order to have faith, you have to find truth. Thank and truth you. is God's view in a matter. So, if you're not interested in discovering God's view on a matter, then forget about having a discussion about faith. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Can I say that again? Come on. If you're not interested in finding out what God's view is on a matter, then there is no reason to even discuss the word faith. Because faith is only faith when it is tethered to truth. Okay. When it's tied to truth. That's the only time it can be faith anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because when it's tethered to truth, it knows the right decision, righteousness. Okay. So, it knows the right decision to make, which is confirmed by the shoes of peace, because you're exercising the real meaning of faith. Now, as you see how that is a progressive, we're progressively putting on our clothes. So one is not good without the other, is not good without the other, is not good without the other. So therefore, it's a progressive movement towards faith, and it, each one always ties to the one before. See, righteousness is tethered to truth. Peace is tethered to righteousness and truth. Faith is tethered to peace, righteousness, and truth. Yeah. So we know that it starts with truth. Right. God's view on the matter. Faith can't go any further. Faith is merely acting like God is telling the truth. It's like acting like what he said, okay God, you're you're right. So we act like he's right. Because a lot of us can act like God don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we tend to walk around and act like God is somewhere out there and he just don't. God, you just don't. I, I've even prayed that before. God, you just don't understand. <laughs> How many of y'all have got on your knees and caught yourself saying that? God, you just don't understand. Last night. <laughs> he understands all. He is all. He is true. God understands. You don't understand. God turns right back around you and says, well, Tony, you don't understand. If you get some understanding, you'll already know that I understand, and you'll act upon my understanding, not yours. Amen. 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 Oh, come on, give me some glory. Amen. Give God some glory. Yeah. Give me some glory. Thank you. God is worthy to be praised. Yes. All the time. Your name. Hallelujah. A lot of people are talking about faith, but are not connected to the truth. And they wonder why faith is not working in their life. You have a lot of people that walk around, they're not connected to the truth, but they all know, I got faith. You got people who ain't saved, got faith. I got faith. God going to do this to me. And you know, they don't even know the truth. Haven't even connected to truth. <laughs> and then they wonder why they say I got faith. Why God didn't do that for me? 
as if he's not involved and he's connected right. only to what you say he should do. So what they do is they go around looking for more faith. Thinking if I can get a little more faith, I can get a little bit more from God. So they go around asking the pastor, pastor pray for me some faith. The pastor needs to pray for you some truth. <laughs> the pastor can't give you faith. <laughs> truth gives you faith. Yeah, yeah. You. Acting upon truth yeah. gives you faith. Yeah. But you cannot have faith and get help if your faith is not tied to truth. And truth is what God says about a man. Faith is not based on how you feel, because feelings are circumstances, are circumstance driven. You feel based on how things are going. Circumstances dictate feelings, and you can't always control that. So faith is not based on how you feel. Well, I feel faithful, or I don't feel faithful. Because feelings are based on circumstances. And that's wishy-washy. Amen. So be glad faith is not tied to your feelings because your faith will be up and down just as your feelings are. Thank you, Jesus. Faith is acting on the truth whether I feel the truth or not. Whether I like the truth or not, or whether I agree with the truth or not, faith is acting upon truth no matter how I feel about it, no matter what I think about it, no matter whether I feel you're telling it, or, or no matter even if I want to. The truth is the truth is the truth. Yeah. and be faithless. <laughs> and you can feel faithless and be faithish. Because it's not built on how you feel. You can walk around feeling like you got all this faith. And as soon as I'm here, you're like, oh, Lord. Go into a horror movie. Go into a scary movie. Now we know we know that Hollywood made this movie. We know the monsters are not real. We know none of this is real. It is all a distortion. It's a delusion. Hollywood built this delusion. We go into the horror movie. We watch the movie. Knowing it's not real. Based on how we feel, we go home. Can't sleep. Right. Scared of what might come out of the closet. <laughs> based, based upon an unrealistic movie. Yeah, yeah. Because we feel. Uh -huh. So now, I'm faithless. Because uh -huh. <laughs> we think something's coming up, but that was a delusion. It was a refraction. Uh -huh. All right. Right. Hollywood builds these things and we go and we go we do it on TV. That's when you catch people talking to TV. <laughs> now we look at these shows on TV and we like, no, don't do that. <laughs> Yet we know we know this walking into it that it's not real. <laughs> 